we can customize Salesforce to better match our organization's actual donor cultivation steps and ideal donor experience using a feature called Sales Process. Sales processes allow us to select which opportunity stages are available for each type of donation, clearing up clutter so that only relevant stages are in view. They also allow us to use language that is common to that record type's stewardship process. Updating your opportunities and managing projections shouldn't be a puzzle. Let's look at some of the sales processes that come out of the box in NPSP. The donation sales process starts at the prospecting stage and simply moves to pledged when a donor makes a commitment and to posted when a written commitment or full payment is made. The grant sales process is more complex. We must first submit a letter of intent and an application and the final stage is awarded. The stages in the example are included in NPSP, but we can edit or add more to meet our needs. We can change the stage names or add or remove stages to a sales process. We can also create a new record type for opportunities, such as fee for service, and assign sales processes based on record type. Sales processes also set default probability values and determine if an opportunity is open or closed, lost or won. This makes it simple for our fundraiser, but adds consistency when reporting across our open pipeline or our one opportunities without needing to know the nomenclature across different types of fundraising processes. Sales processes are also reusable, so the groups of stages we create can be used for multiple types of opportunities. Finally, we can add hints and best practices to each stage in a sales process using a feature called Opportunity Path. So not only does the sales process match our real world process, even fundraisers new to our organization will find adapting to the process easy and even fun. Please check the documentation for more information and examples. Thanks for watching.